Well, a strange incident overnight with a stolen City of Buffalo fire truck has led to charges against a Buffalo man. Channel 2's Ron Plants is looking into this unusual story for us. So, Ron, how did this happen? Okay, I guess call it a crime of opportunity, I guess, with city firefighters as the victims here while they're trying to do their jobs. Okay, we have some video. This is Engine 1, a pumper truck from the South Division at Ellicott Station that is seen here, fortunately stopped on Delaware Avenue. They're near the intersection with Allen, and there's a little bit of smoke coming off it, apparently from the air brakes, which we're told the alleged thief did not know how to disengage, so the truck was moving slower. Still, it did strike three cars, took out some street signs. Before police say the suspect identified as 25-year-old Yassin Abdekadir, a buffalo, jumped from it and tried to flee before he was caught by police. This whole thing began as the crew of firefighters on the truck responding to an emergency medical call on West Main Street near West Huron. And allegedly, the suspect just jumped in to take off in that running fire truck. The fire commissioner emphasizing that the firefighters didn't do anything wrong here. They were doing their duty, but the incident will be reviewed. This is the first time uh, one of our apparatus was actually stolen. So, uh, yes, we will look internally, uh, look at our policies and procedures and our SOPs, and we will see, hey, we can do things a little differently so something like this can't happen down the road. So most certainly we will do that. Now, the suspect in this truck theft incident, Yasin Abdikakar, was arraigned this morning on a variety of charges and released on his own recognizance pending an August 26 court appearance. It turns out that earlier on Thursday, 2.30 that morning, he was also charged with entering a restaurant on the 200 block of Ellicott Street and breaking into a locked storage cabinet to steal about $2,000 worth of alcohol in bottles. We're told most importantly, there were no injuries here. They're still checking the damage to the fire truck for anything more than the air brakes. But we did see a reserve old fire engine marked with a temporary sign that says engine one going out on a call this afternoon. They've got reserves. One final note, an employee of the Coulter Bay restaurant apparently ran out with last night with a fire extinguisher to help put out the smoking brakes on that fire truck. A lot of twist here. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.